Breaking news, my wonderful people, it's happening. Southwest governors in closed door meeting ahead of Atiku's visit. You know, one of the things they rely strongly upon is allies, okay? Getting those who are the leaders of the people to be on your side, invariably they think that could deliver the votes. But let me tell you something. Nigeria, the people you think are leaders, senators, House of Rep Representatives, governors, they failed the people. They don't have any belief or trust in them. So if you are thinking that any of these people, by aligning with them, will be the determinant of what will give you uh, leverage, I, I think, sincerely think you are making a great mistake. I, I sincerely think that, I think, I sincerely think so, that you are making a grave mistake because these people, honestly speaking, do not care. Okay, whatever is happening to the people, they don't care. Okay, they don't care. They, they, they lie like there is no order and the Nigerians are truly sincerely tired and do not want the same thing over and over again. Okay, so this is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. PDP crisis. Southwest governors in closed door meetings ahead of Atiku's visit. The governor for your state, Sheyi Makinde, and his counterpart in the Southwest are reportedly in a closed door meeting ahead of the People Democratic Party presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar visit to the region this week. Late Nigeria understands that Atiku is expected to be in Lagos on Tuesday, September the 13th, 2022, at the Commons House 1 Idewu Taylor Street, Victoria Island, to speak at the event titled Private Sector Economic Forum ahead of 2023 presidential election. Reports, however, emerge claiming that the leader of the People Democratic Party in the Southwest are meeting in Ibadan, Oyo State, the capital, to deliberate on crisis rocking the opposition party ahead of 2023 elections. The party stakeholders are said to be pushing hard for the zone to produce PDP next national chairman. Governor Sheyi Makinde, former Ikiti state governor Ayodele Fayoshe, stated, stated that PDP chairman and other party leaders are reportedly involved in a closed door meeting that is ongoing. A source who spoke uh, in an uh, spoke in confidentiality with Vanguard newspaper said the emergent emergency meeting was to discuss the future of PDP in the southwest and Atiku visit to Lagos and Oyo State. A different source, according to the news platform, also disclosed that Sheyi Makinde and other PDP. People Democratic Party leaders may boycott Atiku VC to the South West states. However, another claim that the leaders are insisting only on IS resignation to pave way for a South West to produce the next national chairman of the party. So this is what is happening. Okay, here's what is going on right now. Um, Atiku is coming to the Southwest and, um, you know, discussions are on ground with regards to who will be and who, I mean, who will be waiting for Atiku. Atiku has so, I mean, in the recent days, has not done well for the people in terms of him refusing that, you know, the national chairman should resign is affecting everybody. Okay. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on and why everybody, you know, we have to look at this more critically and ensure that Okay, we, we, we get the best of, of the best because right now, you know, people are not happy. Shay Makinde is on the side of our very own brother, Wiki. And Wiki is insisting that the national chairman who is from the north, as well as, you know, who is from the north, as well as um, Atiku should, you know, should resign. But Atiku does not want the national chairman to resign. So this is the crux of the matter. And this is why there is real problem. In case you are not aware, things are becoming more than you can imagine. Everyone is, you know, getting on board and is saying we have to make a difference. 
we don't want the same thing over and over again these people know that they are not operating well but indeed they are still you know working in the, in the sphere of deceit lying to everybody you know you're very much aware of it that this guy should resign but yet you turn a blind eye and you pretend okay that all is well you know that this guy should resign because your party constitution says the this position should be split but now the party is more like a northern party than a party for the nation and all we can is camp are saying is let this guy resign however pdp leaders will be waiting for Atiku to receive him you know in your state in legal state and what have you how will these things play out we all know that any house divided against itself the possibility of that house to see the light of day is very slim because that house is already self-destroying okay to self-destruct on a natural ground it will just you know so atiku is planning to visit these people but on what grounds shay mckinday is not happy shay mckinday is with uh wiki they all want the 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 chairman to resign they've said it to atiku atiku who promised them that if he wins the chairman will resign because they are both from northern region Atiku, the same Atiku has changed his mind and do not subscribe to the same thing and is saying, you know, eh, no, it's not possible. So when you look at it, you have, you'll be wondering to yourself, okay, where is the truth in all of this? Are these people for, for, are people honest in any way, form or kind? Are they sincere? Do they really want the good of the people? Because it feels very much like they are more concerned about themselves rather than the generality of Nigerians. And so if change must come, every one of us must work at it. Remember that we've got a duty. We cannot allow the same people over and over again. They know what they are doing, okay? To a large extent, they don't even care. They win or lose. It's just the power, the affluence of the power that they may not get that is just disturbing them. Other than that, they don't really care. These are the people you have. They don't really care, you see? So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe remember that every one of us has got to speak out against everything and anything that could potentially not bring us to a desired end that we all envisage remember you have a voice god bless have a fantastic day bye for now bye